Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice 3.0. In we are going to go. I uh, yeah, Let's go for greens. Why not? We've got ourselves the Tinder, the Spade, Alloy Scoundrel Hoarder. All right. Let's pick ourselves a curse. Every second dice you use every turn gains exert. Oof. Ew. Set all heroes to H max HP to four. Hoof. Add a reverse Lutus to every fight. Six health, potential to be nothing, potential to be terrifying. Summon an alpha every third turn. Oh, add an ogre to every every fight, 11 to 20. These are all terrible. All monsters after taking damage will self-shield for one. Um, Is a lot worse than it sounds as well. But I think I'm going to take it. But like, there's some situations that get uh, a wee, wee bit screwed over by that for sure, for sure. Tinder upon death, one damage to all enemies and kind of like likes to die. And then with the spade to bring it back. Oh, that's a fun little combo. So I think we'll grab this. I mean, I'll just take it because what the, what's the likelihood that we're going to get anything else? So we go for this and then we just bring you back. I like that. I like it. It's cute. It's a cute little combo. Got the two damage. I mean, we could do the two damage, bring you back. I don't think I want to, like, go for too much sacrifice here, though. When we don't really need to. Like, you have other sides that are going to be just as likely to do the job. Like that. We can weaken you. You take extra damage. Even if you have the shield, you're still going to die to that. I like it. Statue... You don't take statue immediately, right? You, like, it just makes no sense. And armorer is really good. Statue is something that is fantastic, but you need you need items first. So, like, I think it's a late green hero pick. I actually, you know what? I kind of love this one-two punch right here. We can bump that up two damage to all, to all a good night. So, oh, it does, it just does a uh, damage to everybody. I, I thought it was they lose one health, which is slightly better. But yeah, this squad is synergized out the wazoo. For now. Replace the left side with a hero above his base side, and then minus one pip to the five right sides. Uh, there's a world. Add exert and plus one pip to all sides. It's not bad for the scoundrel, actually. And then if we get the thing that removes purple text, this becomes good. But the scoundrel basically doesn't have very many things... Anyways, the likelihood of Scoundrel rolling something each turn is not fantastic in the first place. I prefer not to do the... Uh... Oh, shoot. Really? All right. I, I, I should have kept it. I should have kept it. <laughs> Okay, so three damage, and then the next thing you take does uh, an extra three damage. See, that combo is quite nice. We could mulch here to save the tinder. Like, if I, I'm going to die on my own terms, buddy. But we could also, like, try and save you this fight for whatever it's worth, which is to say, not a lot. But like, the fact that we could do that is very silly. Sure. Maybe I'll go into a fight with full health. Just, just for kicks and wiggles. 
bonk. The coffin. On pick, gain a random tier zero hero. Okay, I mean, we have to, we have to try it, right? Oh, he's so good. <laughs> what a, an absolute legend you are, my friend. Okay, that's a, that's a weird one, Mr. Grinch. Oh, the brambles in, uh, inflicting single use on everything. Anywho, I did like that little combo we had. No. The two damage protection thing is actually going to be a problem. Do I save my four shield? I think I saved my four shield for a, a scarier moment. We could mulch, but like, it's kind of like a why. The single use situation doesn't bother me here. But we could also just mulch up a storm. I think what we uh, what we do, what is actually more effective for us here, is to wait, since we have uh, you know a limited amount of uses of our sides. We we need to make sure that they actually hit, you know. We need to make sure they're in there doing damage. Like for example, that doesn't do anything. Then we could just mulch up everything. Doesn't really matter if the coffin dies. Oh, yeah, you may go. Replace the left side with one damage cleave cruel. This is a randomly generated side, and it's really good. Oh, oh, you, these are not actually... Okay. It was just single use because... That's... That was that guy. Gotcha. But yeah, a one damage cleave is already... It's like not bad. Slap a cruel on there. We could go for the spade so that we're either getting this... But we can try and keep on re-rolling to get the, uh, the cleave. And the worst case scenario, like if we want the heal, we're probably getting it. So it's not that big of a problem. Get a random tier 1 cursed item and a random tier 4 item. I'm going to do it. Copy the middle side onto the top and bottom. Must be equipped. Death is permanent. You know what? Do I just say psych? <laughs> do I just say psych and sacrifice him? Because he is going to eat my level ups. You know what I'm saying? I could just say psych. Copy the middle side onto a top and the top and bottom sides. That is pretty good. To the point where I almost think we we get rid of the exerts. You can have the exerts. Those are mostly single use anyways. Well, I mean there's not I have to have this at this point. So no, but if I if he dies, then we have to... Okay, well, also we... Oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right, who's least likely to die? Because if I lose the item... Or if I, if I lose the character, I don't lose the item fully. You have something better than the exert side, right? I can deal with the guilt side, for sure, for sure. All right. Weaken. A little bit of... A little bit of that. The thing is, we might have the, uh, the answer for this as well, but I'm just kind of like, whatever. We just need to do th three damage. It's the death side. Cool. Change the armorer? No. 
Replace all blank sides with one damage double use. Times two versus targets with shields. I mean, it's a really good fight for that, but we got to think like, we got to think long term. Oof. I don't have very many empties. We can put it on the coffin. This opens up the possibility, like, if we get the statue, we could do a little bit of something-something. The magnet is obviously good asterisk. Well, it's not even that good right now. It's good. It. That, that kind of gets... That's kind of gets good. No, but exert doesn't... Exert ruins it. God dang it, man. You dirty devil, you. We could do this, because we're going to be mostly using these for mulch, right? At least one of any pip, and then worst comes to worst, we get the uh, the cleave, which could become pretty strong. There's the guilt side. I mean, I do like the idea. We have the ability to kill the illusions already. The guilt side is fine, because we just need to lower the damage on this fool. Man, they have the highest HP. They have the highest HP. Congrats, pals. And then we can we mulch. Death is permanent. I do think I uh, will not work with the old spade. I could let the spade die. And that could be something we could do. The other option is we could we could get really degenerate with this and just trade a couple deaths here and like try and intentionally lower my squad to four and play like the cat game, you know, a little bit where we just try and uh, go for things that way. Where the cat, you know, you, you don't get the level ups. So you can, mm, let's see, kill, good. Looks fine for me. Shield up here. Go for a little bit of mulch. You get a higher level hero, you start to get into the, like, generate characters that way. Huh. These are some pretty good items. With an asterisk. Generated characters. Eight damage pain. Three damage with a death wish. If I can find a way. Oh, if I can find a way. And we can do like, re you know, remove uh, the pain sides or whatever. This is just a character with eight damage across the board. Like, that's suddenly amazing. Um, But. The likelihood of us getting that, it's, it's pretty specific. This fight is... Oh, boy. That armor is getting quite hurt. What if I do this? Do I die? You sure would. You sure as hell would. You're attacking the armor, so we could, like... Okay, well, we'd have to shield up. We could go for, like, a... One damage and then a mulch. I think this is probably... That's probably the safe call. Getting that guy out of the way is very helpful. And then we're less likely to lose the armor and thus lose him forever. You know, you go ham. Just do it, dude. Just go for it. Who am I to get in the way of your wild, self-destructive dreams? Remove all keywords from the left side. So close. So freaking close. It's still pretty good. Every second turn, replace all sides with the wolf sides. That's another way to fix 
garbage characters. Or get eight tier zero junk items. I'm getting the eye patch because we have two yellow characters. Probably better. Protect the armor. Protect that stinking armor. Eh. At the same time, there's some fun stuff we can do. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um. If we go for that, how does that feel? Yeah, pretty good. How's that feel? Really good. Oops. That's nice. That's nice too. Go for just the two damage here, followed by like a little bit of a one and then a mulch. Fully using that effectiveness and then letting you run. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, juggler, juggler, juggler. We just did an, a run with the alien. We just did a run with the alien. So let's go for the old freaking juggler. We could at least, we could have a two damage side on all those. This is an idea. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not an idea. It is absolutely an idea. This is some nice reliability and especially with the weirdness of the shields, it's going to be uh, reliably putting out some damage at the very least. Of course. Okay. This is it's it's irrelevant, unfortunately. Speaking of uh screw you game. That can only hit you. So, I mean, this. therefore, this just doesn't even matter. Which means we might as well leave it for a mulch. As little as it's going to do for us. Because, like, I can't mulch to save ourselves. Cool, bye-bye. Go for the bones. not the play it might be the play I just feel like we can do better oh man that is gonna get so annoying all right you may run you may flee Add single use and plus two to the left side. Shifter to the two right side so it gets a random extra keyword each turn. I'm really not rolling those very much. We could get like, you could, the things we could find sticky or whatever. That being said, I think it's worth, we could put it here. There's some interesting scenarios that could be done with um, a, a double attack getting it. For sure. Yeah, I'm not putting this on you or you. Like, I could put it on the spade just in case, like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating that, though. Like, if I lose it, I lose it kind of a thing. It's my tier one. We, we could even just lose it right now and it'd be fine because we never spent a level up on it. We could actively try and tank the spade here. Oh god, which is unlikely though. It's 
just like because yeah, that that way we're out nothing. Sort of, kind of, almost, sort of a little bit. Screw it. I won't let any of you down. I'm gonna lock that already. Share. Targets gain all of my keywords this turn except for share. No, I'm not gonna... Wait, targets? So, first of all, question. Did we die? More or less. But we can also get out of it there. I, I, I dig that. I think we do like a little bit of um, spring cleaning. And we try and just get, like, another really big hit, I guess. We would not have had to try too hard to get the spade to die. Is it worth? trying probably too hard to keep the stinking jester alive. I think that's that's death on him. Feels like it has to be. We weren't absolute heroes. Sphere. Stun. Some re-rolls. Slam. We do lose the uh, the one thing we really like, but stun and cantrip re-rolls, I think, is just a big yes to me. We don't love AoE attacks right now. Oh, I will say we are definitely not taking this stuff on you anymore. Which does beg the question, what do I do with this stuff? Which means maybe I should have indeed turned this into tier 4 stuff. Oh, well. I think that's fine. This is a maybe. This already has exert. Same deal with you. So, like, it's, it's a maybe. Half the time we don't even use you anyways, but then also like the difference between 8 damage and 9 damage is pretty negligible. Alright, Sphere. I'm gonna miss my uh, 4 damage heavy 2-1 keyword sides. Double hmm. use heal. Heal. Yep, okay. Okay. <laughs> One damage, single use, I die. For real? That's, yeah, that's, that's what that is there. Um. Hmm. Which ones are we using? We can't use up that one, can we? No, it's not a one keyword side. I don't hate it. Because, like, what's the other alternative? I just overflow kill this for, for what? We could just treat them as um, two two damage attacks. Sphere gets to... Sphere has stun, so it's, I think, a little bit more important to keep your HP high. Huh. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think that's fine. Plague. Affected. Plus one damage for each thing affecting me. I mean, that'd be a great one to get. I was greeting a little. I was hoping. I was hoping I was dreaming.
Cool, more skeletons. Cool, more skeletons. We can do that. Doesn't have to target the big man. All right. All right, juggler. If duel's condition is met, gain the effects of plague. I think duel is like they have to be targeting you. It's very specific. And I do like it. I like how stupid it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Some more skeletons. I'm going to keep going on the potential for the rerolls because because of our like a little juggler dream we have here is it's going quite well. Yeah. Where does that put us? It's. it's worth shield up the juggler so we can well you also got weakened so your uh, your cantrip side actually isn't the problem anymore now we have the ability to stun the lich i bet see look at that it's kind of nice double use and vulnerable i mean that's so good if you know it's so good if what about this does it okay yeah it uses up our uh, our, our empties first of all stun That's really nice. Regardless of the pips that we had on them. It's quite nice. Set all shield and self-shield sides to three. Pristine to my middle side, which is so funny for that. Uh, two re-rolls if you're at full HP is interesting. Shield and self-shield sides to three is generally... Uh, I was going to say generally irrelevant. No, it's actually so good. Which means I think I might need to move your thing because this is... This is suddenly a broken character. Truly broken. Um, Sphere? Sphere? Oh, we actually have a thing that we care a little bit more about now. On okay. Take him. I'm just taking that at this point. Thank you. Sure. Cause we could do, we could go bold, and save you this way. What, two damage? Oh, that's a two keywords, not a two keyword side. So we'd have to go like that, which I think we do. I don't hate that. I don't, I don't hate it. It, it, gets, uh, it gets us through a lot here. Soldier or brute? I'll take a brute. Here's our level twos across the board, getting in towards the end game here. Do I want to replace anything on the left with a one damage cleave cruel? That's not been working very well. <laughs> the brute one is a maybe. If anything, it's it's pretty good. 
it's pretty good. Shields are good, but I, I'm, I'm wanting to be a, the buff side. I mean, all of your faces are good, which is the nice thing. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Holy. Because, uh, I mean, for what would probably be obvious reasons, you know? Like, look at that. Look at that. It's just a lot of damage. I could kill... But it's not that beneficial for me here. We want to overflow kill so we can scare off the bandit, I'd say. Sphere's hurting a bit. Gotta be careful. It's permadeath on that sphere. Oh, you had pain as well, huh? Okay, well that... Messes some stuff up a little. Duplicate. Come on. Give me something. Thank you. We can go for a boop, followed by this, and it should be an overkill. It's not enough. An overkill of one. Oh, it's because of the shield. All right, screw it then. Fine. We'll do it boring style. We'll just save ourselves. Place all sides with the captain's sides. I mean, that's a tier three hero. To have that instead of, like, the coffin. One damage to all enemies whenever I save a hero. Um, There are multiple ways to technically save a hero. I'm kind of liking the idea of the captain because it gives us a tier three unit kind of. Which I like. Shifter to the two right sides so we can maybe get the cleave meme dream is sort of interesting too. We could also just put this over here now. boy that's a good old lot uh what do we have here times three if the conditions of pair or chain are met is cool i do think we need to like go for squared okay what other keywords see the colored one okay give me the buff side thank you I just think that that has some obvious like potential here. Let's just let's just science some stuff out here for a sec. That's a no-go. Overflowing you feels like a good call. It's like, it's fine. The Cyclops is already stunned in this scenario. This feels like that has to be it, right? The one keyword side, I don't think we're doing that. I think we have to play this out. This saves a lot. I like that, I think, the most. Like, we, the good news is we, we should win this this turn now, right? Or we have a chance to win this this turn. Now we're definitely winning it this turn. You guys, you guys have your cute little, little partnership, why don't you? Actually, why don't you tab, tab out now that I realize uh, what's going on? Hmm. 
Supreme Overkill. Ah, the old robot. I do love it. Basalt. The first time I take exactly one damage, double it to... Is this my first time fighting Basalt? I might take the robot... Oh, I might take the robot. Even though I've done it before, because I don't want the armor, and I'm just worried. I don't want to lose the sphere. I don't really want to lose the juggler. I'm fine with losing the brute. I'm okay with losing you. Stoic is not bad, but it's just like our current version of our armorer is just incredible. So this is more just I don't want to lose my other stuff that I have. Uh, which does bring this into a weird spot. I feel like being able to bump that up is really helpful. Shifter. We could maybe get something good with that. Exert. God. That. Ah, that. Ah. So what do you have? Four damage to the top and bottom enemies. Weaken. Got the old quartz shenanigans going as well. Duplicate Trio. It's an interesting one. Stop it. This is for science. Like, this is for science. Does it go down to... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. It goes down to one, even though... It makes sense. Oh, but like... Just for science again? Oh my god. Wait, this has sprint as well five times. What is going on? Inflict nothing, add inflict nothing to target sides for a turn. Inflicted, inflict nothing, add inflict nothing to all sides. We overflowed you so you actually don't weaken us? Or... No, you still definitely do. Well, we have this. We officially uh, totally have this. Like, like in so many ways we had that. Uh, plus one to all sides. Times two versus targets with full HP. It's fun stuff there. Plus one to all sides on you is just really nice. It's it's pretty brain off. But I just kind of appreciate it. Oh, the other option is like... Oh, no, but I'm really, really using this. That's the thing. I'm really using it. Uh, ah, wow. <sighs> Plus one on these is so good. Is why I have like my little hesitation. Alright, meme dream. Let's make it happen, Kevin. Okay. Uh I think we'll take the four damage. It turns into an eight damage very easily. Again for science. It's like getting a new... It's getting a new symbol every time. It, that's what's weird. It's getting a new symbol every time. Uh, do I just take the veteran? Yeah, just take the veteran. I don't think I ever really use him. an old 
Zert if we're feeling a little bit weird. But yeah, this is the, the robot with the one damage shifter range duplicate. This thing is just going really weird. I think it's, I think it genuinely is just like every single time it adds a new, uh oh. That didn't go well. Uh, we could do this and just shield up everybody across the board. Alternatively, we go for the four damage smacks. Kill a two zombies just completely for free there. Uh, possibly... We could overflow and... Uh, almost kill the demon. Oh, we could even slam... Oh, it has to be the highest HP. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, that's fine. Wait, I think that's fine. We'll go for the four damage. Four damage. I think that is the answer. Uh, we will slam first because it has to use those. Oh, but if... But it is the last dice target, but then... Ah, you are... Driving me crazy. Okay, so what if... You're not the target of the last die, though. So in a weird turn of events, we actually... I don't think we can do it. We can slam there, but it barely does anything. And now it's... It's heavy, so it has to be the highest health target. Which is not you anymore. I'll just take it. We, we should be able to kill this turn. Stop. One shield pain rescue is very funny. Oh my god, please. Wait, what is it? Plus one for each unused ally they become you. What is that? That doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't work right, actually. That's in fact very bad. Mm. Okay, I don't mind this outcome. This has a keyword on it, which is sort of nice. I can hit them. Oh, wait, yeah, this can target anything. This is fine. Yo, please. Please. By all means. By all means. F off. Um, we have a times two. We could put that on the old juggler. Putting this up to a six damage with focus is very, very fun. Replace the middle side with one damage. Single use cleave. Engage self heal. Weak and vulnerable. Which is very cool, but... I'm leaning towards this on the juggler, since we can, like, we can reroll a whole heap and help him. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I mean, there it is. We might as well just keep it, I think, because... Same deal. Let's, let's see what's up. Is this... How much damage is this doing? 10? What? Yeah, I don't think we're taking that. Um, all right, let's just let's be simple. Oh, 
A lot of incoming pain sides. The incoming pain was irrelevant, right? Wait. And then if I do this, surely... Inflicted pain, add pain to all side pain, I take end damage. So we could like... I mean, that's just what's coming in. So what actually is on this? Flesh plus one pip for each HP I have. Must have the lowest HP. So what's up with that? Hyper boned. Summon 14 bones. Smith. So we'll just not use that one. That has hyper bone no matter what. This would kill the bottom line, right? Yeah. Unless, would it in this situation? No. And this is Hyper Bone. Summon 14 bones. <laughs> I just, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, it's okay. So we can kind of go down the line and make a perfect face, or like as perfect as we can in the weird sort of shenanigans like what what does this have this has plague po poison it just has poison nothing wrong with poison plus one pip for each thing affecting me just gotta make sure none of these are uh, are death times two if it's your sixth dice use this turn i do not care I'm just, I have to check and make sure it's not something that's going to get us killed. Uh, the sphere I've been loving. Jumble. Add fluctuate to all sides. Changes to a random side every turn. Retaining. I, I gotta be honest, we kind of just need to skip. Like, I would love to play with the jumble at some point. But sphere's ability to give us extra rerolls is, um, is really, like, a big thing for us. Come on, give me the it. Come on, give me what I want. Oh, you knew what I wanted to. You knew. Times four if the condition of both engage and pristine are met. They are not. Copy the keywords from the sides I used last turn. Swap engage times two if I have full HP. Bloodlust. Target must have exactly four HP. I can't do that one. Inflict death. Add inflict death to target sides for a turn is not going to be something I want. I mean, we'll just go for this because it's the uh, the least dangerous. Uh, swapping age range. What did I add? It still has picky. So they 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 get theirs added right away. Inflict death. Comma. Add inflict death to target sides. For a turn. Does this actually... Yeah, this... Inflict death. So, yeah, it, it's... <laughs> it's what's... Okay. All in all, I think this is maybe going to have to be fine. I do wonder if there is a better... Oh, there can't be. There can't be. I mean, I wish we got the, uh, the buff upgrade, of course, but... What is this, Mega Boned again or whatever? No, that. So, yeah, they, they keep their symbols. But everything does change, so it's like I kind of feel. 
Target must have exactly three HP. Oh, and it does. Uh, it doesn't do. Okay. All right. Fine. Screw it. Screw you then. Fine. We'll get that kill there. Bloodlust. This one was the deja vu, which is fine. This one we can't use. This one we do not want to use. One usable dot. Yeah, I. You are so confused, and I don't blame you. Okay, can we stop with the threes on all of the turns here? Juggler is one cantrip away from a death. What's the possibility of a stun relay here? Not good. Not good at all. Very, very unlucky. Three damage, poison cleave. We got it on both. We have no heals here. The shield is pretty irrelevant. I hate this. I hate this with a passion. Okay, at least it's a single target move. We do prefer that right now. Okay. Remove all traits from this. I mean, that's irrelevant. Plague plus one pit for each poison on all characters. About dang time. Plus one pit for each unequipped item. About dang time we got something go our way there. All right, this is this is getting down to the freaking wire. But what we need is just an ever so simple two damage. No, we need more. Oh, what a cool run! What a terrifying ending. The three damage poison cleave followed by another three damage poison cleave on the run without any kind of uh, methods of healing was just terrifying and obviously problematic. Uh, what a cool run, though. Like, just, oh my god, what a cool run. Just seeing, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. Robot is just a collection of of the most susceptible to game break faces that there are. If you don't get the items to make Robot good, he's just a guy, but you just get like one thing going on him and it gets really silly. Shifter, the way that Shifter works with Duplicate, knowing that now is wild. So, I mean, that's not how I would have assumed. I wouldn't assume it gets an extra keyword when it gets put on the others. I would have assumed it's just, as it says on the tin, a duplicate. It's a duplicate of the other one. It doesn't... But, hey, I'm not complaining. That is a really, really wild interaction that I absolutely loved. Alas, alas, though, Robot does it again. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.